Hello and welcome to another thought-provoking episode by Drishti IAS. I am Sonali Chopra. Your guide on this journey through the complexities of the Israel-Palestine conflict and the evolving dynamics in the Middle East. On October 7, a pivotal movement unfolded as Hamas launched a massive military operation into Israeli territory, setting in motion a series of events that have captured the world's attention. We will dive deep into the heart of this conflict, exploring the geopolitical region, international reactions, and the emerging resistance alliance that is reshaping the region. Hamas initiated a large-scale military offensive within Israeli territory. Their actions included firing a significant number of rockets into Israel, followed by coordinated attacks through land, air, and sea operations. These attacks involved the infiltration of Israeli-controlled areas and targeted military installations, briefly taking control of certain settlements. The Israeli casualties have now surpassed 1,400. with numerous israelis being held as hostages within the gaza strip in response israel has continued its air strikes on the gaza strip and there are indications of an imminent ground invasion the united nations reports that over 1 million palestinian residents in gaza have been displaced and the death toll has risen to 2670 You can also watch our previous video on the background of the conflict link is in the description Now without further ado let's begin The recent surge in the Israel Palestine conflict has resulted in a tragic loss of lives and significantly impacted regional dynamics challenging the prospects of normalization in the Middle East The emergence of support blocks for both Israel and Palestine has complicated the situation potentially leading to an extended period of conflict if not addressed promptly the conflict which began with a significant incursion by hamas into israeli territory has attracted global criticism and led various nations to align themselves with either side although israel has received considerable sympathy and backing nevertheless the widespread bombing of the gaza strip has provoked international disapproval especially due to loss of civilian lives including women and children the international reaction to the conflict has taken various forms according to a report by the times of israel as per the foreign ministry 84 countries have voiced their support for israel prominent western nations such as france germany italy the united kingdom and the united states have expressed they are backing for israel while condemning the actions of hamas the recent visit by secretary of state antony blinken underscores the unwavering commitment of the united states to israel prime minister narendra modi's tweet regarding the conflict reflects india's broader global stance denouncing terrorism in all its forms and expressing solidarity with israel Nonetheless, India's Ministry of External Affairs later released a statement reminding Israel of its obligation to adhere to international humanitarian law. This statement specifically emphasized the civilian crisis in Palestine. Significant backing for Palestine has materialized from nations such as Saudi Arabia, Iran, Iraq, Turkey, Morocco, Lebanon and Pakistan. Moreover, widespread demonstrations have broken out worldwide, including in western countries, as a display of unity with Palestinian civilians and a condemnation of civilian casualties. Now let us understand what is Resistance Alliance and what role it plays in the conflict. The Resistance Alliance alludes to those entities or nations that possess military capabilities and are willing to engage in the conflict to support Palestine. This support can stem from a variety of factors including shared ideological beliefs or opposition to western involvement in the conflict particularly with regard to the United States. 
these entities or nations are prepared to open another front in the conflict to directly support Palestine. The Iranian role in this conflict presents a perplexing puzzle. While initial speculations pointed towards Iran's backing of the Hamas offensive, including financial support, the provision of resources, logistics and training, as reported by the Washington Post, the situation is complemented by statements from an Iranian Revolutionary Guard member suggesting that there were talks between Hamas and Iran. Adding to the interview, Iran's supreme leader Ayatollah Khamenei unequivocally stated that Iran was not involved in the Hamas attack. Nevertheless, characterizing Israel's situation as an irreparable military and intelligence defeat. Meanwhile, Iran's president Ibrahim Raisi following discussions with Palestinian militant leaders, expressed support for the legitimate defense of the Palestinian nation. These conflicting narratives make it challenging to ascertain Iran's role in the conflict. Iraqi Badr armed groups aligned with Iran have threatened to target U.S. interests with missiles and drones if Washington intervenes to support Israel in its conflict with Hamas in Gaza. Badr organization comprises a large part of Iraq's popular mobilization forces, the state paramilitary organization that contains many Iran-backed factions. The PMF has voiced its unequivocal support for the Palestinian factions fighting Israel and the Iraqi government has said the Palestinian operations were a natural outcome of what it calls oppressive policies by Israel. Hezbollah's participation in the conflict has escalated tensions along the northern border with Lebanon, evoking memories of the 2006 war, a month-long battle between Israel and Hezbollah, a Shiite group openly committed to the destruction of Israel. Furthermore, the Israeli army has identified several instances of fire exchange originating from Syria in retaliation Israel launched airstrike from Damascus and Aleppo airports in Syria on the night of October 14, putting them out of use. The Turkish leader President Recep Tayyip Erdogan also has criticized Israel's actions, specifically its blockade and bombardment of the Gaza Strip, describing them as a disproportionate response to the Hamas attack and characterizing the situation as a massacre. Yemen's Houthi leader Abdel Malik al Houthi has issued a warning that direct U.S. intervention in the Gaza conflict would trigger a response involving drones, missiles and other military actions. He emphasized certain red lines concerning Gaza and expressed readiness to cooperate with other groups if needed. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Afghanistan released a statement affirming the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan's support for the establishment of an independent Palestinian state on its historical lands, asserting this as a legitimate, historical and legal right of the Palestinian people to safeguard their nation's independence. Collectively, these developments illustrate the emergence of a military bloc sympathetic to the Palestinian cause and a willingness to support it, potentially leading to the opening of a new front in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Now let's try to analyze the above developments pertaining to this conflict. Hamas' recent alignment with the resistance axis does not necessarily translate into a cohesive front on the ground aimed at confronting Israel, but it cannot be ignored as well. Notably, Hezbollah has been involved in the cross-border missile attack, recently adding a new dimension to this conflict. Hamas' armed wing, Al Qassam Brigades, said it had fired 20 rockets from Lebanon on two Israeli settlements. Hamas appears to have achieved several short-term objectives, including deterring Israeli actions around the Al-Aqsa Mosque and taking hostages for potential negotiations related to the release of Palestinians in Israeli detention. However, the situation became more complex as Israeli forces also took numerous Palestinians as captives in response to these events. The Israeli conflict has raised significant concerns, particularly with the apparent indication of a ground invasion by Israel. This is evident from the substantial military buildup, 
including the deployment of a large number of tanks along the borders and the mobilization of an additional 300,000 troops and statements given by the Prime Minister and top Israeli officials signaling preparedness for a ground invasion. The apprehension of an impending invasion has led to the evacuation of over a million residents from the northern region of Gaza. Notably, United States President Joe Biden warns Israel that any occupation of Gaza would be a big mistake and says he supports the creation of a humanitarian corridor. Conversely, Iran has issued its own warning to Israel regarding the potential for regional escalation if the Israeli military were to enter Gaza for a ground invasion. Iranian Foreign Minister Hossein Amir Abdullahian mentioned that if efforts to immediately halt Israeli attacks, particularly those causing harm to children in the Gaza Strip, fail to yield results, there is a growing likelihood of many other fronts being opened. This option, according to Iran, cannot be ruled out and is becoming increasingly probable. In summary, recent events have reshaped the Middle East political landscape and the conflict's potential to expand should not be underestimated. Urgent diplomatic efforts are needed to prevent a larger regional crisis. The situation is dynamic and uncertain, emphasizing the need for a de-escalation and global cooperation.